He could be a sinner or a gentleman. He could be a preacher when your soul is dead. He could be a lawyer or no witness stand, but he'll never love you like I can, can. A chance encounter of circumstance. Maybe he's a mantra, keeps your mind in trance. He could be a I love you like I can That we can stay. I love your demons like devils care. And if I'm still seeking an honest man, then stop deceiving, Lord, please. Please. Get to Adam in a second. Let's get some comments. Blake Shelton. I feel like we're at the Grammys right now or something. <laughs> that was crazy. Regina, such control and such passion about what you're doing up there. It's <laughs> crazy. But then Jordan. I don't even know. <laughs> what the hell just came out of you? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Your voice is like from another planet, man. It's not a wrong decision here. Thank you. Thank you, Blake, for us. That was a really masterful performance. Miss Regina Love, I have to say, it was just amazing to see you float across the stage like that. You and Jordan went back and forth. To be honest, it felt like the jousting of like Game of Thrones or something. <laughs> it was just like listening to two beautiful trumpets going back and forth. Thank you, Coach Farrell. Gwen Stefani. It is just shocking to me, the ability that you both have. And you're just so effortless. Obviously, you were meant to do what you do, and it's so beautiful. And you are just, I don't understand you. <laughs> you're so unexpected, and that's what turns me on. I'm like, wow. Hear that? Take that, really take that in. Jeez. Really take that in. Take that in. <laughs> that just, Jordan, that just happened. <laughs> Congratulations, both you guys. Thank you. Adam, how are you going to make this decision? Well, you know, you're both very powerful singers that command a lot of attention when you're on stage. But the best thing about it was you were both able to be these incredible singers without stepping on each other's toes. I don't know if anyone could have handled singing with Regina except for you, Jordan. She's very powerful, and you did such an un unbelievable job of complimenting that. Man, this sucks. I'm just trying to talk my way out of this, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> Adam, look, tough decision, we know. But who is the winner of this battle? I think you both deserve to be in this competition, and I'm starting to feel dumb for putting you together. I think you're both special for completely different reasons. But I gotta go with what I feel. The winner of this battle is Jordan. Jordan's gonna move on to representing Adam Levine in the knockouts. Congratulations. Jordan's voice is the unicorn, and his ability to connect with people on a human level is just as powerful as his talent, which is very rare. Jordan can win the boys. I have no doubt in my mind. You're a gifted. Thank you. Thanks for believing me. 
I'm really excited that I get to stay on Team Adam. He really does see something in me, um, maybe that I don't even see myself yet. I love you guys. I'm so proud of you. Coaches, let me remind you, Regina is available to steal. Regina, anything you want to say to your coach, to Adam? I just want to say, Adam, I thank you so much for everything. Can I tell you something? Yes. Every second I got to spend with you working was, was beautiful. So. There's your steal! Hey, everybody. Thank you for checking out Team Adam. Click over here to subscribe to The Voice channel so you can be the first to see all the newest performances. I'm Carson Daly.